The way we live our lives certainly has an impact on our health, but what about where we live? The UK CRC, Centre of Excellence for Public Health in Northern Ireland, is researching how reinventing a public space can improve community health. This report now from Sue Saville in Belfast. Parts of Belfast that have been derelict for decades are having new life breathed into them by the creation of a greenway of paths and cycleways, a wildlife corridor improving the environment, enabling physical activity and connecting communities. The vision is a nine kilometre linear park, really from the hills right down to the lock. 16 kilometres of cycle and walkways, bridges, um, civic squares, uh, improved parks, really a big play park for everybody to enjoy and spend time in. This East Belfast GP says the area has serious health issues like obesity, alcohol abuse and heart disease, but believes the new Greenway will help get people moving. Being healthy involves being physically active. For many people the idea of going to a gym is just so intimidating and uh, so unrealistic that, that, they're, that they struggle to see how they can be more physically active. But having this linear park, a lovely extended green space where they can go out and they can walk, it makes physical activity easier and it makes it more attractive. These health outcomes are not being assumed, they're being measured in one of the few longitudinal studies of interventions on this scale in the world. Funded by the National Prevention Research Initiative and the Medical Research Council, the study will last eight years. We are surveying local residents to find out the kinds of activities they do and how often they do them. And as well as that, their quality of life uh, and how they interact with their neighbours and friends and maybe how the Greenway influences all of those kinds of things. The researchers' findings will translate community engagement into valuable policy information. If the Greenway, for example, is to have shown improvements in health, improvements in mental well-being um, by creating a, an asset that, like this that encourages local residents, um, local employees to be more active, to use it as a commuter group, commuter route, it's really to get that, that message out there. Researchers have calculated that the £40 million cost of this Greenway project could be fully recouped in savings to the NHS over 40 years if just 2% of inactive people locally were to take up regular physical activity. The Greenway's made a, an amazing difference. Uh, it's not just from my point of view for uh, Travelling to work, you know, like uh, it's shortened the journey and now to work. Visually, it's improved the journey as well because you get to go through this wonderful park every day. Belfast's Greenway needed political support. It was vital to communicate the health benefits so people feel the upheaval is worth it. Those partnerships are crucially important, whether it's with Belfast City Council or the Centre of Excellence for Public Health at Queen's University Belfast, making sure that we are utilising the opportunities around us to the best. Such partnerships are reaping other benefits here too, tackling ignorance about surprisingly high skin cancer rates. Skin cancer in Northern Ireland has rates have been steadily increasing year on year since about the mid 1980s. Um, currently, it's the most common form of cancer diagnosed here in Northern Ireland, with around 10 people on average every day being told they have skin cancer. Academics are working with charities to assess the impact of using social media, especially Twitter, to inform about skin cancer. Social media is it's bringing a new dimension to health. It's a platform used by the public, by patients and by healthcare professionals. So with that, it presents an opportunity to deliver health information to a much, much greater audience. The research team found that classic scare tactics don't work on social media. The best themes are humorous, so people will share the message. We have to really address the issue of what makes a message shareable. The ones that we find that spread the most are the, the humorous ones, so people like to spread funny things. Classically positive messages um, seem to be ones that spread more. You want something to be quite funny. You don't want everything serious, oh, everyone gets cancer everyone get annoyed about it. It's more, if there's more humour, you'd be like, OK, yeah, I'll listen to that. That's, that's acceptable. Any medium that gets it to more people, that gets them to see it on a regular basis, has got to be a good thing. Academic research and key partnerships in Northern Ireland are finding new ways to communicate public health messages to promote better lifestyle choices.